Hey, 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 everybody. It's Tips by Mrs. J. Welcome back to the channel. And if you are a newbie here, I say welcome. And go ahead and I'm going to ask that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll always know when I upload. To my faithful following, welcome back. All right, y'all. Let's jump right in. All right, y'all. So we're about to jump right into this Dollar Tree video. But let me start by saying that I pray that all of you are staying safe, you're staying at home, and you're keeping others safe. So I have not been out of the house or anywhere for at least three weeks. So I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in about three weeks. Uh, we typically do all of our shopping all on the same day. If we have to go someplace, we hit them all at the same time. And when I leave the house, y'all can see from my thumbnail, my head is covered and I'm masked up, okay? So y'all, we got to stay safe and stay safe too, okay? All right, so without further ado, let me jump right into this haul. Let me show you the things that I got. So I don't know about y'all, but of course my store has certain limitations on certain items that you can get. And so when I got to my store, the young lady had these up at the cash register. Now, three weeks ago when I went, she said, I think the limit was two. So today I asked her, I said, well, can I get two of those? She was like, well, no, you can't have two. You can only have one. I was like, oh, the limit has changed. She said, yeah. The limit is now one. So I said, okay, well, that's fine. I'll take one. So I picked up one of these guys, the disinfectant wipes. And um, there's 24 wipes in here. And it does say that it kills 99.9% .9 of all bacteria. Now, it don't say nothing about viruses, but it does say um, bacteria. Now, it notices it does say that it's bleach free. So I might be adding a little spray of Clorox to this to make it a little stronger, but I don't know because I don't want to have no type of uh, chemical, <laughs> no type of negative chemi chemical reaction. But I'm thinking I'm probably going to, if nothing else, I'll, I'll, I'll put some um, Dow antibacterial soap on it or something like that. Okay. Because I want to just make sure that this is indefinitely the right thing. And unlike the Lysol wipes, I don't see where it actually, you know, deals with that Rona. Okay. So anyway, but anyway, I picked up two of these because that was the lemon at my store. The other thing that had um, a limit was the paper products, okay? So the bath tissue and the paper towel. And I got this paper towel because it was bigger. It had more um, sheets. All right, so let me tell y'all the dilemma on the paper products. So when I got in the store, it said limit of two bath tissue okay bath tissue per customer it's a limit of two bath tissue it did not say limited to paper products or limit of two anything else it just said limited to bath products so when i went back there i picked up two of these because the signs were very clear and i picked up originally i picked up six of these because i wanted to like get a whole six pack because i was totally out of paper towel at my house but of course, when I got up to the register, the manager was like, you know, whispering something in the cashier's ear. And then she was like, well, she can only get, she was like, well, ma'am, you can only get two of these. So I said to the manager, I said, well, sir, your sign says two bath tissue. It doesn't say two paper towels. I said, that's why I got sick. I said, so I'm not going to argue with you about it. I understand, but you might want to change your sign because you're going to have that crazy customer that's going to come in here and be ready to turn your store out. I said, I'm just warning you, you need to change your sign. So the lady that was in the line behind me, of course, six feet away, because now the store's got all the tape on the floor, you know, so you are definitely backed up. She was like, yeah, girl, because it couldn't have been me because... He would have gave me everything I had in my basket. I said, yes, ma'am. I understand. I said, that's why I told him to change the size. I said, but I'm trying to stay safe and I'm trying to stay safe. Y'all hear me? Because you know Jesus is coming. Girl, I ain't getting left behind. No, ma'am. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So, you know, I, I only got two. I wouldn't go argue with the man. Yes, they was wrong. Dollar Tree, you was wrong because you should have had the proper signage up. But, I, you know, I'm going to let it ride this time. I ain't going to say nothing because we all in this together and I ain't going to act up. Okay. So, that was that for all of the things that had limitations. So, I got those things. And then the next thing I got was, y'all know. I have to pick up some 
um baking soda because baking soda is good for sanitizing and like i told y'all on so many videos before i always throw a little scoop of this in my laundry and that's another thing when we got home when we because my husband went to the store with me when we got home honey everything comes off straight into the laundry and our bodies go straight into the shower and i'm sponging with i'm i'm scrubbing with some dial in dial antibacterial soap okay so yeah, we just gotta be safe. And then I go back out to the car and I spray down everything. I spray everything down. So safety first. The next thing I got is um, the um, dishwasher um, powder, okay? So I use this, I know it's the cheap brand, but that's okay, cause I wash my dishes first in the sink, y'all. I don't know, it, does anybody else do that? Do you wash your dishes first and then put them in the dishwasher? Maybe if I had one of those high power dishwashers, I would do that, but I don't trust my dishwasher like that. Mm -mm. I really don't. So that's why I wash the dishes first, then I put them in the dishwasher and I put this in there. And um, if my husband is on kitchen duty, honey, you best believe it's gonna be some bleach someplace in that, uh, sink water too <laughs> y'all do that I, I know that i saw somewhere on facebook or someplace where they're like encouraging you to put a little bleach in your water but yeah honey if he on kitchen duty it's it's gonna be some bleach in that water something now speaking of bleach bleach was the one thing that i did not see at my dollar tree today i didn't see bleach and i didn't see any type of cleaning supplies that was antibacterial all of that stuff was gone and I think that my shelves were um, clear from that because I live in an area where um, housekeeping is a very hot business. They stay busy. So a lot of times people who own housekeeping businesses, they go to the Dollar Tree and they buy all their supplies. And bleach didn't have a limit three weeks ago when I went and they were clearing that bleach out like it was nobody's business. All right. So anyway. So no cleaning, cleaning supplies. All right, the next thing I got so far is cleaning, and I wish I could have gotten some more, but they only had one pack. And these are the bar mop um, dish towels. And y'all, excuse my nails. Y'all know we socially distancing, and I can't go to nail salon right now, so it'll be all right. So, but I saw the dish cloths. I had never seen these before, and it's two of these. Two of, two of them in the pack. So I will definitely be using these for cleaning. And if I go back three weeks from now, <laughs> um, I'll pick up some more of these. All right. So the next thing I got was um, for storage. Um, I have a couple of boxes of cereal that I bought um, for my girls uh, three weeks ago when we went to the grocery store so instead of leaving them just in the box and them having to deal with that plastic wrapper i'm going to store them in in this container right here and um i store food in these containers and i have never had any problems with it getting stale or going bad or anything like that so and i do like the way it has this little hand kind of this um thing right here where you can grip it and pour it out without any problem so i picked that up Okay, so y'all know, since we here, the kids are here all day eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks. <laughs> Had to get some paper products, so I got some more bowls. I was totally out of these. So I grabbed, I think I grabbed three packs of these. And make sure you get the one that says 30. They do have a 15 pack, but I always try to get more um, bang for my buck and I get the 30 pack. I got, um, like, I think I got two packs of forks because I had some forks on hand. I like to keep at least four packs. So, like I said, I'm not going back to the store for another three weeks. So, I was trying to stock up. So, I got a few packs of these. And we had no spoons at all. So, I picked up four packs of the spoons again um, to try to stock up so I don't have to worry about going back to the store. All right. So now I'm going to jump right into the food items. I didn't pick up a lot of food items um, because we still had so much stuff left over from um, going to the grocery store. So we're pretty good on snacks, but I just picked up a couple of things to keep us going. So the first thing my husband picked up was this right here. He loves these. He actually likes the beef patties, but they didn't have any beef patties. So this will be his first time trying the jerk chicken patty. 
So he picked up a couple of these. And then also for my husband, and really for all of us, the bottle is empty because I didn't want to lift up the big old bottle, but he loves this um, natural spring water right here. So we got, I think about 15 jugs of this right here. There was no limit on the water, okay? So we got that. All right, so for snacks for the kiddos and me. <laughs> So, um, I got some of these Takis for one of my daughters. She loves these right here. And it says that this bag is a serving of three per container. But this is kind of small. And this is for my daughter that's 17. She's not about to eat out this bag three times. It's going to be one and done for her. All right. So, I got these Takis right here. For myself, I got these bugles the nacho cheese bugles i think i'm the only person in my house that eat these i'm not sure but i don't think my kids eat these if anybody eats them my husband would but i don't know oh yeah he's giving me the thumbs up honey i can't have nothing from mikey over there excuse me if your name is mike but y'all remember the little life commercials where mikey used to eat everything i got a husband and his name is mikey can't never have nothing <laughs> but anyway y'all this says three and a half servings, so I will break this up and put this into little baggies that I already had on hand. I got enough Ziploc bags between Dollar Tree and Walgreens. I got enough um, Ziploc bags for little snack bags and stuff, so I got this for myself. Everybody in the house eats the pretzels, so we love these pretzels, and I love these little ones that have the little designs. I don't know why. I just like these. In my mind, it makes me think that, that I have more. All right, and so this is one of the things that I store in these kind of jars right here. But I actually have a smaller one that I store the pretzels in, and I have not had any problems whatsoever. So that's my pretzels. All right, I got some goldfish for my um, one of my other daughters, and this says that a serving size is a is one pack, but because there's so much in here, she will not eat this whole pack in one sitting so she'll get she she'll be able to eat off of this multiple times so got that and then for my other daughter because y'all know i got five of them but three of them here right now all right i got these chips for her the style cream and onion she loves sour cream and onion chips and this bag says it's about four and a half servings in here so i will let her split these up and put them into a snack size bag All right, now these right here, my kids love, honey. They love them too much that I'm going to have to hide them in my room. Now, I don't know. Y'all hit me up in the comments. Are y'all having problems with your kids trying to eat up all the snacks? <laughs> Let me give y'all a tip for that. I have all the snacks in my room, honey. Matter of fact, in my closet, in a sealed box. Because right now, my master closet, closet is my home office because I'm working from home. So, I have all the snacks in there. And on Fridays... I let them pick out 14 snacks. I bring the box out. I let them pick out 14 snacks because they had two snacks per day. Okay. And they put them in their little basket in the pantry. They all have their little individual basket and they can eat off of that all week. I mean, if you want to eat all your snacks, then you eat all your snacks, but you're not getting them until Friday. So that's how I'm making sure that they don't eat all the snacks in one day. Because I'm seeing that a lot on social media. Like, parents are like, my kids eating up everything up in here. Now, I don't have any teenage boys, so I can't help you if you got them teenage boys. I feel sorry for y'all. But anyway, yeah, so I got these donuts right here. And these are good. They're, they're um, it's four packs. And it's four of the donuts in each pack. And they are really pretty good, y'all. I have to hide these from myself. And my husband, too, y'all. He's sitting right over there, but yeah. Anyway. So, I also got these for the kids. The uh, fruit roll-ups right here. So, I got two packs of these because only four of these come in a pack. And then, I got some mayo. I've never tried this kind. Mrs. Clark's mayo. I hope it tastes okay because I plan on making some tuna salad with this. So, and I wasn't sure if we had any more at the house, so I just picked this up just in case. And then I just got some candy. 
So we got these watermelon gummies. Because one of my daughters, she celebrated her birthday at the beginning of the month. And when we went to Dollar Tree the last time, we did not pick up anything for her. And one of the things she wanted for her birthday was some candy. So we got it today. So we got some watermelon gummies. And then her favorite, Mike and Ike. She loves Mike and Ike. So we got the Tropical Typhoon. And then the Mega Mix. And of course, we're not going to let her eat all this at one time okay so we definitely have to monitor that all right so the last couple of items i got was i got some sunglasses i got my sunglasses yes honey because i always buy all my sunglasses from the dollar tree because i lose them I don't care how organized I am i always lose my sunglasses i don't know why but i'm gonna change my confession on that um, I used to always lose them. Now I have a place in my car where I put sunglasses and I also have a special place in my purse where the sunglasses are supposed to go. But when I'm wearing them and they end up on my head like this, and then when I come in the house, I throw them someplace and then I don't, I just don't, I, I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I'm. I just don't know but anywho I, I got some more of these because i like to not that i'm going any place the only place i'm going is on my front porch or on my back porch <laughs> and i'm looking outside right now the pond is so pretty so i need my shades when i do this or when i'm going for my afternoon walk if i go for a walk in the afternoons you know um around like well i say afternoon but basically in the evenings like 6 6 30 yeah so i like to have my sunglasses on so i got two pairs of those Prayerfully, prayerfully, I won't lose them. I got some bliss text because I noticed the other day my lip was really chapped and like my lips split. I was like, what is going on? Like I never, even during the winter time, I never have chapped lips. I haven't had chapped lips for years. So I just got some of this right here. We're going to handle that. All right. And then the next thing I got was basically some combs and stuff because again y'all know we can't go no place so i can't go to the hair salon that's why i got these little um these cute little clip clip ins in my hair y'all yeah i had got these from amazon a few weeks before all this stuff had happened but i never wore them and i just brushed my regular hair back but anyway so i got to do my hair and the kids hair so i had to get some more um tools so the first thing i got was this big old big wide tooth comb right here Okay, especially because all my girls have natural hair. So this right here is definitely an essential in my house when you have African-American girls with thick, thick hair. Now, my hair is not all that thick, but my girls have really thick hair. And so I bought another wide tooth comb because the ones that I had in the past, y'all, they keep disappearing. They just keep disappearing. I know it's my two oldest daughters. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of them too because my combs keep disappearing. But I went ahead and bought another one. So I got this one. And then, um, I got this duo pack right here. It says a twist, a twist comb set. Now, I've seen people do the little twist with the comb. That's not why I bought this. I mean, this is cute or whatever, but I didn't buy this for this. I bought this pack because I want this little rat tail comb right here. This right here is what I'm looking for because I'm doing hair, so I have to part their hair, and I need to make sure that the part is straight. I'm a stickler for straight parts, okay? I don't like no crooked parts. I don't like no crooked parts. So I got to make sure that their hair is part um, straight. Let me see. See, I got a little part right there. It's a little crooked, right? See, it's a little crooked because I didn't have this right here. I didn't have this. So I got me one of these right here so I can make sure my parts are straight. And then I got a detangling brush. Now, it says it's a vent brush. Y'all, I don't know what no vent brush is. I've never heard of a vent brush. But I do know that my girls need these bristles right here so when i wet their hair and condition it and and um i'm detangling it i can brush through with this so that's why i got this brush right here for it for detangling purposes and the last item i got was another brush and i think it's a kitty brush because it has the unicorn on it and it has some other ones with like a llama they llama and um i think a disney some type of movie character so that's what made me think it was for kids but I, I want to use the bristles on this because it reminded me of the bristles that are on like, um, oh, oh y'all, excuse me, um, the Denman brush. If you're a natural hair girl, you know what I'm talking about. And a Denman brush is like $19. 
and um now i'm not about to buy one because i had one before and it broke after um going through my daughter's hair a couple of times um yeah so i i'm not in the um mindset of buying another one at this moment so i bought this for me because i want to see if it will detangle my hair like a dimming brush because my hair doesn't i mean it doesn't take much to, to detangle my hair all right so y'all that's it for the Dollar Tree haul for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. You all stay safe, okay? Stay safe. Stay home if you can. Only go out when you have to. And when you do go out, make sure that you cover yourself. Make sure that you are safe, all right? You stay safe and you keep others safe. All right, this is Mrs. J. Guys, you be blessed. And I will see you at the next video.